Hi everyone, it's Justin. This is episode four of this month's series about capsule wardrobe making. Last time I said that accessories don't count towards your goal, the number of pieces that you're planning to get for your capsule wardrobe, and I left them out completely in the planning. So today let's talk just about accessories. I'm going to show you my own essentials. I have more than that, but in the end I end up wearing mostly those ones because they simply work with everything. You'll see. The first thing is a pair of comfortable black flats. They can be ballerinas, but they don't have to be. If you find ballerinas uncomfortable or you can't wear them with an insole, they're also flats with a gum sole, a bit thicker, and it goes thicker towards the heel, in which you can walk hours every day. The point of the flats is that they can be worn with trousers, chic trousers, with jeans, with a skirt, with a dress, with everything. If your outfit has different colors and it bothers you that only your feet are black, then you can wear a black scarf with it, or a black hat, or a black handbag. Problem solved, because then you have a color match. Since we're talking about handbags, one elegant, timeless, chic, perfect black handbag is a useful thing to have. I'm still looking for the one. I'm also extremely picky, maybe that's the issue. But I have two that come quite close to that. The first one is this. It's almost like a clutch, but it's in fact a crossbody with a tie that goes diagonally over my shoulder and hangs on my hips with fringes. So that's the practical one for every day. And then I have a, a chic, very simple black clutch to go out. And if I'm honest, everything I really need to carry around with me fits in those two purses. If I'm working and traveling, then I have my laptop, paper, pens, a lot more stuff anyways. So I'll switch to a shopper, to a backpack, which is black, or to a suitcase. <laughs> but for most jobs where you have an office and a desk and your materials and supplies there waiting for you, you don't really need a bigger purse. A scarf is a great way to just pimp up any outfit. Around the neck, there are plenty of ways to tie that. You can have a favorite winter one like this one. Two meters long, super chunky, I love it. I've wrapped myself five times in it and I'm never, never cold. A summer one, this one is also very long. Or you can have different fabrics, different weights, and a lot more choice. The thing with scarves is that they never wear out. When you buy one, it's forever. So it's actually a good piece to invest on. I've done a video on 25 ways to tie a scarf around your neck, example with this one. So if you need some inspiration, have a look there. It's linked here and in the description right below this video. A good belt would be the next item. I wear belts mainly with jeans, if we are talking about a functional belt, so this is mine. P.S. it matches my black flats, my ballerinas, so that's good. I also wear more decorative belts, um, and I've done a video on how to style different types of belts in different ways. Same thing, I link it here and down below. Then hats, I'd love it if more people wore hats instead of caps and beanies, because it's so much more elegant. This is mine, winter hat, that's a trilby. I don't like to get it wet because I don't want it to lose its shape here. So when it's raining, I use an umbrella on top, <laughs> but technically a hat like that protects you from the rain. So it is really functional on top of being aesthetically appealing. I have a video about hats too. It's not a coincidence that I already did separate videos on the accessories I'm mentioning today. It was in preparation for this series here for you to have more inspiration at your disposal when you get into wardrobe planning. Moving on to jewelry. Simple studs like those ones are perfect if you don't feel like wearing large earrings on a given day. They prevent your ear holes from closing up, which is quite the thing, and they just dress up your face, even if you're not wearing any makeup. People also sometimes prefer a little diamond or a little little golden ball. That's the smallest I have. I don't like small, <laughs> but it's a matter of taste again. To dress up your fingers now. One statement ring is actually already enough. It can be your wedding ring, of course, but I'm thinking more of something slightly bigger. <laughs> Worn alone or together or stacked like those ones, two identical ones on top of each other. You have plenty of options. It depends on your taste. Some people wear thinner, smaller jewelry, but with one statement piece, you're dressed up already than a bracelet that you can wear alone and that you can't lose or break. It must be something that you can really wear every day and with any outfit, so probably, preferably in your favorite metal, gold or silver. It could also be in a different material, but then matching with the color palette of your wardrobe of the season. 
A black watch or a metal one is another essential. Here's mine, black and metal. <laughs> I also wear a white one where I'm wearing outfits in lighter colors or when I just want to add contrast to my outfit. So with black and white, I'm pretty good. Metal works too. Other colors, again, would need to be mixed and matched with your outfits. So it's a bit more complicated. Sunglasses would be the next thing. Sports ones don't do the job here. I'm talking more of a pair that you could wear in the office on a really smartly dressed occasion. Brown is good because it's less of a statement than black, which means that people can still see your face behind the glasses. <laughs> you want to attract the attention onto you and not onto the accessory itself. But if you prefer to have more options and be on the safe side, you can get a black one and a brown one and then you're fine. I mentioned black many times throughout this video. There are people who just don't like to wear black and say my basic color, my neutral is gray instead. In this case, everywhere where you heard black, replaced by gray. But one thing is sure, your essential accessories, since this video is about that, about the basics, they should have the color colors of the neutrals in your wardrobe, especially if it's a capsule. Otherwise, it's much more complex to mix and match the accessories with the garments and it limits the options. You have a limited wardrobe, so you really want everything to work with everything else. If you do like colorful accessories, then I would add them on top of those basics. Thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much. In the description below, you'll find all the previous videos about the accessories mentioned. This series goes on next week on Wednesday, but before that, I'll see you on Sunday as well. Until then, happy wardrobe planning. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.